Someone once said to me, when you throw something away, there is no away, which is really the reason I wanted to launch I Am A Plastic Bag. Back in 2007, when we launched the original I Am Not A Plastic Bag with Antidote and We Are What We Do, the idea very simply was about awareness of the enormity of single-use plastic going into landfill. I'm Not A Plastic Bag was, was a baptism of fire. It was a project that just really seemed to, to touch a nerve. And in fact, the British Retail Consortium state that the number of single-use plastic bags went from 10 billion to 6.1 billion after the project. So it was a phenomenal reduction in virgin plastic. So it's a project I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of. It was also, frankly, a bit scary. Um, 80,000 people queued on the opening day for this bag in the UK, and it went on and on as it went around the world. So Tokyo, New York, LA, Hong Kong, thousands and thousands of people. And yet here we are in 2020, and the problem is far from solved. The conversation has moved on from one of awareness to, to one of circularity of materials. There are 8 billion tonnes of plastic on the planet, and the question is, how can we stop making more plastic and instead reuse what we already have, rather than it go into landfill? So we've spent the last two years working on a, a woven fabric that is actually made from recycled PET, so it's actually made from recycled plastic bottles. But what is really special about it is it actually feels like a really rich cotton canvas, so it feels very natural. But we also wanted to add a coating to the fabric so that it would, it would really last to protect it. We really wanted to find a coating that was recycled, and, and that took a long time. However, eventually we managed to source a recycled PVB, which is actually the plastic that goes between the two bits of glass and a windscreen to stop it shattering. It's been really complicated to achieve, and in fact, I think probably every line on my face is to do with that project, but I think the bag is, is really beautiful and I hope our customers will love it. At the end of the day, something that I hope they will really want to keep, which is a really important point. The bag is actually a really amazing example of modern craftsmanship, and it's actually a feat of engineering. To make the bag, we have to recover the bottles, clean them, smash them, break them down into pellets, and then we melt them, make them into fibres, and then we weave them into fabric. We then coat the fabric with the recycled PVB and make it into a really beautiful bag in our factory in Florence. We then trim the bag in leather, and it's funny because we went full circle on the subject of leather. We started off thinking that we wanted to use a recycled leather, but in fact we found out that they, they mash up all the recycled leather and then mix it back together again with plastic. And then we looked at vegan leather, but in fact that is mainly just plastic. We looked at plant-based alternatives as well, and actually there's some really interesting things, but they're not quite there yet in terms of strength and longevity and, and also in terms of look for what we need. So we've come full circle back to leather, but leather that is from a gold standard working leather group tannery, which gives assurances in terms of traceability of the skins. There's no deforestation, and of course, they are a byproduct of the meat industry, so nothing goes to waste. But we're always looking for alternatives. Our motto is progress, not perfection. So for Fashion Week this year, we're in fact not doing a show. We are instead closing our three flagship stores in London and filling them with 90,000 used water bottles, which is how many plastic bottles go into landfill every six minutes. The idea is to shock, but also to connect people to the enormity of the problem of single-use plastic. I really hope with this project that we can make something from plastic that was destined for landfill into something really beautiful that will last. But I also hope that through the platform of fashion that we can amplify the message that the circularity of materials needs to be the new norm. And hopefully this bag can play a tiny part in spreading that message.